Been another hot day with 93 degrees, the high temperature in Denver. That's three above the normal, seven shy of the record. And so far for the year, the 31st day of 90 or better, we do have an ozone alert in effect. There's a warm front just off to the north of us. That's where most of the storm activity is confined, along and to the east of that front. And we're going to stay warm with only isolated storms expected across the rest of the state. Most of that activity moves off into Kansas and Nebraska overnight. Skies will be clearing as far as clouds and precipitation, but still some smoke particles, some hazy skies expected, with lows in the low 60s in Denver, 50s up at Greeley and up at Fort Collins, 40s, many of the mountain locations. On Wednesday, we'll start out with sunny to partly cloudy skies. There'll be some thunderstorms in the afternoon, but the most likely areas will be on the northeast plains, not much mountains or southwest. It'll all be closer to that front. 93 in Denver, 98 at Pueblo, 99 at La Junta, 101 out west at Grand Junction. Mountains will be 70s to low 80s, and on the plains, 90s, best chance of storms farther to the north and east. Overnight tonight, 62 hazy and mild. The forecast for Wednesday, 93, with a few storms mainly over the northeast corner of the state. I think the rain chances increase slightly. For Thursday, temperatures a bit cooler. Friday, the best chance of some storms. And then the weekend turns hotter again, especially on Sunday with a high temperature of 97.